Hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day. I know I am, because you're here, and we get to play in the nail room. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. It's free for you and means the world to me. So let's get started. All right, we're going to start right into it. Throw base coat on all of the swatch sticks, because this is a... 12 bottle collection and we want to make sure that we get through all of it in a timely fashion first up is one of the nudes it's called my bf loves it i don't know if it's my boyfriend loves it my best friend loves it i don't know maybe you love it <laughs> it is a nice peachy nude just a little bit on the peachy side. Definitely requires two full coats. It has a nice creamy formula. I really liked it. Very pretty. Next up, we have Let's Have Some Fun. very pretty pink color it's a hot pink um almost like there's just a touch of berry in there just a touch but it is definitely a very bright very hot pink you can see my camera's having a little bit of trouble picking that up just right <laughs> but we are going to go ahead and put two coats on that one don't forget to get the free edge I mean, as you can see, it's a little bit transparent there, but that's, you know, the neons. What are you, what are you going to expect from a neon? Just the way it is. There you go, and I'm just kind of wiping that extra off, because I got way too much on the brush the first time. There you go. That's, let's have some fun. Very pretty hot pink. Let's fully opaque in two. Next up, we have Royal Nude. This is the second nude in this collection here. And this one is kind of on the yellowy side of nude. yellowy browny side just has that little bit of the yellow undertone to it if that is your skin tone this collection definitely offers a few different nudes but we will compare them all at the end you can see them side by side all up. Nice and opaque in two coats. A very nice little nude. <laughs> very nice nude color. And next up we have Endless Night. No, I did not just buy this. This was actually part of the collection. Look at how holographic that is. Oh, it's gorgeous. But it is a transparent blue. I would say it's Kind of a little bit of a dusty light blue. It's beautiful holographic with all different sizes of glitters in there. The holographic, the blue holographic glitters. It is very pretty. It's very pretty. I know, I'm just faffing around just because. <laughs> If I mess around with it long enough, does that mean I still get to look at it <laughs> the whole time? <laughs> yeah, I know. It is a very pretty, very pretty color. That is Endless Blue. Next up, we have Sugar Magnolia. It is the peachy 
nude in this collection. It is a very nice, thick, one coater. Well, not thick. It's not thick. It's nice and creamy. It just only requires one coat. It's a very nice, opaque, one coater nude polish. If you've got peachy undertones or you like a peachy nude, this is the one for you. Sugar Magnolia. Next up we have Lucky Bamboo. Now, <laughs> Lucky Bamboo to me is, I mean, it's the color of pea soup. Yeah, it is like peas, but it's like a juicy jelly type formula. It really gives you that juicy vibes. It does require two coats if you want it to be fully opaque. Otherwise, you could leave it semi-transparent, but that is totally up to you. But this is Lucky Bamboo. Next up in the collection, we have Chocolate Dream. Guess what? This is Chocolate Brown. No way! Really? I cannot believe it. It would be a Chocolate Brown named Chocolate Dream. It's just... It's a dream, I tell you. It's a dream. Hopefully it is a very nice Chocolate Brown. Nice, smooth, luscious coverage. Makes you want to lick it off the... <laughs> no, do not lick it off of the swatch stick, please. Do not eat it. It is not edible as much as it looks like it's good and yummy. It is not edible. There we go. That is Chocolate Dream. Var Var Party. And next up we have Sandman. I'm watching this show called Sandman on Netflix. If you like magic and things like that, this would be a good show for you to watch. But this is another nude, another neutral. It's kind of on the taupey side, a little bit purpley, a little bit gray, which is exactly what taupe is, is purpley gray. <laughs> yes. But it is a bit dark too. It's not real, you know. Um, yeah, I guess it really depends on your skin tone as far as uh, if it would make a good nude or not. Except we have the Precious, which is a pink version of Endless Night, really. It is a gorgeous, holographic pink glitter. It was just a regular, I mean, if you, somebody said pink too, no. Cat, sorry. <laughs> Cat tried to run away with my swatch sticks. <gasps> Not good. Not good. Look at how beautiful that pink is. It just reminds me of little kids. That love little girls that love pink things. Just a beautiful color. But that is only one coat. And I thought I should probably take a little bit off of there just in case. But I think it would have cured fine because of the because it is transparent. So we're gonna go ahead and throw another coat on there just to show that it is buildable, but I don't, I think three, maybe four coats would get you fully okay, just because of the glitter, but with just the gel, you're never going to be fully okay. But with the glitters in there, you may be able to build it up to get full glitter coverage without a problem. Okay, next up we have sea foam. This is a beautiful sea foam green. 
I don't know how else to describe it to you. It is just a beautiful seafoam green. One coat coverage, one coat wonder. It is a beautiful color. It is an absolutely beautiful color. And that's seafoam green. Okay, next up we have Warm Glow, and this is a really cool color. <laughs> and if you look in there, it looks all gold, but it's got, I don't know if it's black or just really, really dark chocolate brown. Um, background color, the gel, and then the glitter is, is almost like it's a flaky or yeah, like gold leaf or gold flake in there. And it just comes through so beautifully. And it's very striking. How the gold just kind of comes out of it and really does give you a warm glow of gold in there. It is a very striking, very beautiful color. I just wish I could wear gold on my skin tone. Maybe I can wear this one. I don't know. We'll try it. Maple syrup is up next. And this is definitely not, it doesn't look like maple syrup to me. But it is a beautiful, bright, corally color. Just got that hint of pink in there with the bright, bright orange. And it's got a bit of a white, white in there to tone it down. And there is maple syrup. I think that one is a beautiful color. But that is all of them. So here are the nudes in this collection. We've got my BF loves it. Uh, Royal Nude and Sugar Magnolia along with Sandman in there and I wanted to show you you know how close they really all were. The Sugar Magnolia is more of more in the pinky family but it's really close to Royal Nude and my BF loves it and this is Immortal it was from a different collection but uh, it was from the Ibiza Sunrise collection. It is kind of a neutral too, but it's a lot darker and totally orange. But there is Pixie Dust. Doesn't really go or fit, but that is what I have for the nudes from Nail Reserve LA at the moment. So let me show you the oranges that I have. These are just a few. That's all I have right now. You know, as I get more collections, I will do more, obviously. And I'm going to do this every time. So show you what we've got and what we don't. You see the difference between Endless Night and Ocean's Heart. Ocean's Heart's a little darker and it is fully opaque, but you can see the glitters in Endless Night a lot better. I think if you put Endless Night over the top of Ocean's Heart, that would be gorgeous. <laughs> Here are the hot pinks. Lotus from the Ibiza Sunrise collection is a very nice hot pink. But you can see that Let's Have Some Fun from this collection, the Harvest Collection, has just a slightly more berry tone to it. So those are, that is those two. So uh, let me know if you're going to pick up any of this collection. Let me know if you like them. What was your favorite in this collection? Um, let me know down below because the next collection is coming out really, really quickly here. And hopefully I will have that one to you soon. Like if you liked this video, share if you think it was worth sharing. And please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!